，你随便在就在这一片随便去一个街上都有家庭旅馆。像别的地方的话，他们住那种礼拜堂，就是住在地上，起码是有床了，不用住礼拜堂那种地方。这是不是不合法呀？是、啊，太多人需要住家旅馆，要不然的话，你都去睡在睡睡大街了。My name is Inge Wang. In the last nine months, I investigated the boarding house issue in the San Gabriel Valley area in the Chinese community, and how bad the living situation is for those low-skilled Chinese newly arrived immigrant workers. We have our full story online on laist.com. For those of you who don't have time to read the full story, here are the takeaways. A boarding house can be either an apartment, a condominium, or a single-family house. Some people just rent that from the landlords, and then they sublease the spaces to other、uh, tenants. And there can be、uh, up to 15 people. And a lot of those tenants are low-skilled Chinese, newly arrived immigrant workers. They rely on boarding houses because they don't need to pay deposit, and they can leave whenever they want. The rent is super low. It can be ten to fifteen dollars a night, and they just pay on daily basis. But the conditions of those boarding houses can be very dangerous. Roaches and mold are very common, and when you have three to five people sharing a room, violence can happen very often. Based on the data provided by the four cities in the San Gabriel Valley, we looked into the opening in past five years over six hundred fifty boarding house cases. Based on the number I learned,、uh, Montreal Park has the most boarding house cases in the San Gabriel Valley area. That's also reflected by what the tenants told me when they arrived at LAX. They would just come directly to Montreal Park, and it's like a, a well-known area for Chinese、uh, immigrant workers. I talked to their city officials and、uh, their previous、uh, mayor, and now the council member of the city, Peter Chan, told me that he knows like the problem has been in the city for years. They used to have 30 to 40 people in one boarding house, and now it's more like 7 to 15. In his opinion, the problem now is under control, and、uh, it's so much better. If nobody reports the boarding houses to the city, the, the city is basically letting them go. Since 2005, the city code enforcement officials have inspected the building where I spend most of my time reporting no less than 13 times. During one inspection in 2016, the city cited 85 violations in this apartment complex. The city didn't identify how many units were used as boarding houses, but like in the list of violations, you can see. So many like units were cited for excessive mattress, or so many beds in one bedroom. This was the last of five visits from the city in that year. In every visit, they had found boarding house violations. The total in fines paid three hundred fifty dollars. There is no other documentation showing that the city did follow-up inspection. Based on my most recent visit to the building, at least thirteen units appear to be being used as boarding houses. So basically, things look very similar to what authorities pointed out in 2016. A lot of the city's code enforcement officials told me that when it comes to the boarding house issue, it's very hard for them to identify and to just do the inspection because it's an interior issue. They rely on complaints from the neighbors, so they have to get、uh, enough evidence, such as photos. To really get in there,、uh, otherwise they have to rely on the tenants living in there to let them in. Even the city can really enter the building if they identify the issue. They will just send a warning to the property owners. Second time inspection, if the if the owners don't correct the issue, the fine will be one hundred dollars. The maximum fine is one thousand dollars because the fine is really low. A lot of the times,、uh, the landlords would rather. Just to pay the fine instead of doing the maintenance. A lot of those people living in the boarding houses are undocumented Chinese workers. They are afraid to report anything to the city because they might get kicked out or even get deported. The housing crisis here in Los Angeles is very、uh, serious. People working like those undocumented、uh, immigrants who cannot like get really decent jobs, they cannot pay decent housing. And also, like in San Gabriel Valley cities. 
there is no rent control. People don't dare to complain because they told me that if they complain, they have to leave. And it's not a big problem for the landlord to find another tenant who is willing to pay the rent to stay there. But for people like that, they are stuck in this living situation. If you want to learn more about the story, the full story is on our website, las.com.